guys, it's Arch was going to do here doing a Sony Vegas or Sony Movie Studio Platinum 12 tutorial. <laughs> so we're going to do some photo and text editing kind of type things. So let's start with this. You see my display's a bit messed up, not in the right proportions and things. Hold down Alt and press D and then D again. Well, pow! So want to get this to the right to the start. You can scroll in and out to see the times, more detail. We'll get to that in a later video I think. So let's start with this. It's the funny moment I've got on Battlefield 4 so let's start with this. So here is the voice volume, well volume, and we, we can scroll down and edit it, make it a bit quieter all the way down. You want it on that because we don't want uh, that disturbing us. So you want to change its video track so you can put something above it. Because if you put something below it, you cannot see it whatsoever. Sorry. <laughs> right, right to the start. So you want to click Insert Text Media. Oh, there we go. And it loads up this little window where you can then, oops, you can then put in your own text. Cow. Cow. So we have a someone shouting cow, I think. So you can change its font. So I'm gonna change it to my custom font that I use for everything called Painters. It's actually a custom font. It's not one that comes with Windows. So let's put it on 80 size, you can change the size there. And you can change the colour here. Go to red, but go to red, purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red again. So we want to go to a particular shade of purple, because I love purple. Maybe we want to make it bold. Nah, but no bold. You can center it. Doesn't make any difference to the actual text, it's just if you have two lines. So then you can go to animation, click it. So you can have all this stuff. So I'm going to go with pop up and close down the window and we can see how my computer's lagging and we can see how it works. Amazing. Amazing. Truly inspirational. Then you can clip it down like that. So it's just as soon as it pops up. And now let's get onto the photo. So you want to go into whatever photo you have. And I'll have a cow. Then you want to drag and drop it into here. And let go. And boom, you've got a cow. Oh no, it fills the whole screen. I only want to take out a small proportion. Then you can click crop and zoom out like that. See? And then you can zoom out like that so you can do it better. And perfect. A lot smaller. You can move it out around all the way to the edge. That's where I want it. But wait, I want to make it fly up onto the screen. No problem, random sir. So put it up like this. Perfect. Now all the way. Let's drag this to one second and bring it down technically up but it's confusing now you go to the start of this and let's watch it it goes up over one second and that's how it works it's pretty cool you can make it flip like that you can we can make it do this so you can make it do this I'm not sure I've never really tried this I want to know what it looks like see pretty strange and now we can get those two going at the same time so, oops, look, cow. Now, you think it would look better if that was behind that. You want to swap around the video tracks, like so, and put it like that. So, then you go and play, cow. Now, you may be thinking, this has no relevance whatsoever to the footage, and you are correct. You deserve a clap. Now, onto here we can edit how it looks. So we want to go on Video FX, and it's just that button there below the crop, that button below that. You want to go. So there's tons of stuff you can find out. I still haven't found out everything. Maybe I'll do a video on all of these if you want me to. So how about we have a bit of a lens flare? So add the lens flare. 
so that you see that's a lens flare pretty cool so we want it reflecting off the cow's butt so we want to make it a bit less intense and that actually looks quite good but you can change the size that's better you can change how it blends blend perfectly or it doesn't you can tint it with you can make it a bit yellow I just tint it a bit not too much and now it's focused on the cow's butt now you can change its like size maybe we'll make it quite a big one there we go and then you click X and look at it you'll see the lens flare actually stays in position right here but the photo moves on to it so you'll see what I mean yeah. amazing so far and we can trip it, trim it down to the right size you see there's a little barrier here that stops me so perfect now as you see that's pretty good put it back onto the project meter that's what you want quite nice quite nice indeed so let's have a watch yeah. pretty random but that's just a very good demonstration of how to use it and I hope that really helped you learning Sony Vegas or Sony Movie Studio Platinum 12 that's what I use 20 quid by the way rather than Sony Vegas 400 it's a big advantage so I hope this helped uh, this arch must come too I will do more tutorials and if you request them and I'll request what you want me to do next if you want tutorials all of this stuff I hope you have enjoyed and I hope you have a good day bye and put it like that so <coughs> sorry okay there's another one coming <coughs> right